Alright, what's going on guys? So, over the past few months, there hasn't really been a whole lot to talk about when it comes to Elden Ring. We've had no official news to talk about, but there have been a few rumors here and there, nothing confirmed just yet. But today, I want to talk about the things that we do know and can speculate on when it comes to the story of Elden Ring. But before we get started guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest Elden Ring news, leaks, and rumors, and just for some other cool Souls videos. So today, like I said, I want to go over what we know about the story of Elden Ring, how that's going to be structured, and who the main players are in creating it. And I want to give my two cents about the big question of what kind of story should Elden Ring have. So if you know anything about Elden Ring, you know that George R. R. Martin has been working heavily on this project alongside Miyazaki and creating a new story and lore for the world that Elden Ring is set in. And so I want to go through this article titled Elden Ring, What George R. R. Martin's Role Is by Screen Rant, subtitled The Celebrated Fantasy Author George R. R. Martin Has Teamed Up With Dark Souls Director Hidetaka Miyazaki To Deliver A Whole New Dark Fantasy World. The article starts out by saying, At E3 2019, From Software's upcoming game Elden Ring was announced beginning a very long test of the Soulsborne community's faith. To say Elden Ring is highly anticipated would be an understatement. According to celebrated game director Hidetaka Miyazaki, Elden Ring is From Software's most ambitious game to date. Although the dark fantasy genre isn't exactly new territory for From Software, Miyazaki alleges that Elden Ring will take place in an expansive open world and heavily feature RPG elements, a departure for From's most recent title, Sekiro. Perhaps the most indicative facet to Elden Ring's scale is the involvement of George R. R. Martin, acclaimed fantasy author and mastermind of the A Song of Ice and Fire series of novels, which were later adapted into Game of Thrones. Miyazaki himself, a fan of Martin's work, said in an interview with Xbox Wire, that getting to work with Martin was far-fetched and he was delighted that the author even agreed to their preliminary talks. In an interview with IGN, Miyazaki claims he didn't want to restrict Martin's creativity by forcing his writing conform to the narrative principles used in From Software's story development. The Soulsborne games are notorious for their obtuse storytelling, often leaving important details to be found in item descriptions. This would not be a good use of Martin's talents as he is well known for his sprawling and intricate world building. Miyazaki describes Martin's role in Elden Ring as being the creator of the game's world's lore and mythos. According to Miyazaki, the majority of Martin's work on Elden Ring has been fleshing out an era prior to the one that will be explored by players, and includes establishing the world's history and mythology. In the interview with IGN, Miyazaki compared Martin's contribution to a Dungeon Master's Guidebook. This writing may be to Elden Ring what J.R.R. Tolkien's Silmarillion is to the Lord of the Rings. Miyazaki also mentioned to Xbox that Martin's history involves a lot of characters and drama, something readers of his works are very familiar with. Regardless of the rich lore being woven by Martin, Miyazaki assures players that the in-depth character creation of the Souls games will be present in Elden Ring, telling IGN that From Software's goal is for the player to become the protagonist. Although the protagonist will remain a blank slate, Miyazaki is certain that the NPCs in Elden Ring will be the most fully realized characters From Software has yet created, thanks to the intricate mythos of Martin. Martin may not be responsible for the narrative of Elden Ring, but he has contributed greatly to the ambitious world Miyazaki and From Software are hoping to create. So, there's a few things in that article I want to break down and kind of dive deeper into, so let's go into that. In the article, it says Miyazaki said that he didn't want to restrict Martin's work to being behind item descriptions and being in that obtuse sense that most of Dark Souls lore is. It did say that he wanted Martin to create the mythos and kind of the background for the world that Elden Ring will be set in, but I think by him saying that we can roughly assume that Elden Ring will have a much more overarching story of the world rather than a narrative one that we've been seeing with Sekiro. And by that I mean we might get more than just one little cutscene at the beginning of the game, but we might get much more familiar with the world that we're actually playing in rather than just being referenced to it every so often. For example, in the Dark Souls games, in Dark Souls 1 we have Lord Ran, we have no idea how that is connected to Drangleic or Lothric in any kind of sense of continuity throughout the world. And based on what the article is saying, it sounds like Miyazaki wants Martin's work to be at the forefront of the game. And that's not going to be a big narrative overarching story, but it will be a much more involved world and lore where we know that we're actually playing in a living world. 
So moving on from that, there are a few things referenced in some rumors that we got a while back that have been holding up pretty strongly, and that's that the world is going to be based off the Yggdrasil world tree in Norse mythology, and that the story is going to have a lot of references to Celtic mythology. But until we get a little more evidence of that, it remains to be seen. We also know that the world is in some kind of collapse based on the concept art that was released a couple weeks ago. We don't have any like official evidence of that but the thing that kept coming up over and over again in his concept art was his theme of a collapse so that is a little bit to go off of but not a whole lot i think it's very evident that the story about this game is going to be amazing george r, r. martin and hidetaka miyazaki are both masterminds when it comes to creating these intricate stories that are very deep and go a lot further than the surface and I'm very interested to see how this theme of drama that George R. R. Martin is hoping to deliver with the characters in Elden Ring is going to play out because I know in the show, that is the thing that keeps a lot of people coming back to the story, is the drama and the characters constantly plotting against each other and creating interesting situations. So to answer the question of what kind of story should Elden Ring have, whatever these two guys are cooking up, I know it's going to be fantastic and we've never been disappointed when it comes to Souls games. But until we get a little more news, that's about all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and be sure to leave a like if you did, and I'll catch you in the next one.